welcome to today's service. We have uh, so many of uh, your teachers today. I'm Carol Green. I hope you've had a good week. I hope God has been good to you. And I pray that you'll be with us all through the service and that you'll be blessed. So before we do anything, let us all pray. Dear God, Dear God thank you for the week I had. Thank you for the week I had. Thank you for who I am. Thank you for who I am. Thank you for all that you've given me. Thank you for all that you've given me. And thank you for all that you have done. And thank you for all that you have done. Today, today, I set everything aside. I set everything aside. That I may worship you. That I may worship you. You are God. You are God. Oh, amen. 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 <laughs> so, I uh, hope you'll enjoy today's service. Teacher Joy will lead us through today's songs. And yeah, make sure you enjoy. Okay. Hi everyone. Hi. Uh, I hope you're excited. I'm also I'm so excited to be here with you today. And today we are singing some nice songs uh, in accordance to our lesson. But first, so we sang it before, and I hope you remember it. I don't know if you remember it. Do you guys remember it? Yeah. I yeah. Do. If God gives me oil in my lamp, yeah. So we did action the other time. If you can remember, you can do them also. If you can't learn them today, if you haven't seen it. Well, here we are. Okay, guys. Are you ready? Yay! Okay, let's start. Uh, give me oil in my lap. Give me burning. Give me oil in my lap. I pray. Give me oil in my lap. Keep me burning, burning, burning. Keep me burning till the break of the day. Sing, Hosanna. Sing, Hosanna. to the king give me joy in my heart keep me praising give me joy in my heart i pray give me joy in my heart give me praising 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 keep me praising to the break of the day sing hosanna
Hi everyone, so today we're going to be hosted by preteens. So help me welcome Jason and Miles. Welcome to church. My name is Miles. And my name is Jason. And we're so excited to host today. Um, I know I have missed church. Uh, but it's good we get to meet each other for this week. Welcome to our online service. Who had a good week? Jason, how was your week? My week was fine. And Miles, how was yours? Mine was good. What do you miss the most about going to church? I miss I miss having to walk in and see all these happy people. What do you miss about going outside? I miss hanging out with my friends. You know what, Jason? Today is free team service, so we all get to be cool and stuff. Today we are learning about giving. What are some things that you can give? What do you find hard to give? Check this out. Hi children. How are you this morning? I hope you're fine and you've had a great week. Remember last week we talked about honoring our parents, specifically our fathers on Father's Day. I hope you honored your father this week and you did something good for your father like we said last week. Our story today is about Elijah and it's about giving and giving with all your heart. Our Bible reading today is from the book of 1 Kings 17. If you remember the story of Elijah, God talked to Elijah and asked Elijah to go out eastwards. Eastwards is towards our left, our right, depending on where you are. And Elijah obeyed and left and went away eastwards. And once he got there, God promised him that he would be fed by birds, special birds, these birds called ravens. And as he sat there, he was fed every day by the ravens. The ravens would bring him food and, and Elijah would sit there and every morning they'd bring food and every evening they'd bring him food. And for water, God had told him, drink from the brook and there's a brook you can see here there's a brook and that is where he was getting his water from but as days went by the water dried out and Elijah had to move from there and God told him go to another place and according to the Bible he was to go to a place called Zarephath that's quite a difficult name and he left and went there and God promised and said, when you get there, I will take care of you. And when he got there, because he couldn't get any food where he was, he got there, he found this lady and she was picking sticks right outside the gate of Zarephath. And he spoke to the lady and told the lady, like, I need some food. Can you give me some food? And the lady said, the widow said, I don't have any food. I only have a bit of flour. You know unga? Unga ya chapati? He says, I only have a little bit of flour and a little bit of oil. And that's all I have left. And Elijah told her, don't be afraid. Just go home and do what I have said. Make me the bread and bring it to me. She brought the bread to Elijah. And you can see on the picture, that she's serving Elijah with bread that she has made from the little flour. And God made sure that she did not run out of flour or oil. And God will bring all the food to you. Even if there is no rain, you will not go hungry. And the widow did like Elijah said. And her and her son had food every day and God took care of them. And we are told that she gave willingly, she gave wholesomely, didn't keep a little bit, even the little she had, she gave it all. And that is how we are to give, not only the food, not only our money, but everything. We give it with all our hearts and we give it happily. And God will bless us and bless each one of us, like he says in his word. So what did we learn today in our story? We learned about giving 
and giving with all your heart and with all your mind without feeling that you want to keep something. Sometimes we're asked to give and we don't have much, but whatever little that you have, you give. In life we walk and we are always giving. You're always giving something about your time, you're always giving something about um, your clothes, sometimes you're giving money. There's so much that we give and we share. But from this we learn, don't hold back. When the Lord asks of you, give and give willingly. That is our lesson for today. Wow, that was amazing. I wish to call us for time of giving. So ask mom and dad for money for Jesus. We're doing it the online way on your phone. Mo and press our pay bill number 488700. And account name 8KPC. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you, Teacher Grace, for doing that for us. So I'm here to do the memory verse for today. It's coming from Luke, the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 38. So run, open, open, open. Uh, how I'm going to help you read it. So it says, Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. So let's go again. Give. Give. And it will be given to you. A good measure. Pressed down. Pressed down. Shaken together. Shaken and running over. over. That's pretty simple. I hope you'll remember it next Sunday and act on it. So bye. So thank you so much, Chalona. That was so much fun. Guys, it reminds me of the song that we sang when we were starting our, our service. You remember the song? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so thank you everyone for, for joining us for service. Remember when for Jesus, parents, thank you so much for allowing your kids to come online and do service with us. So, yeah, we're doing that song, yeah? Yeah. So everybody at home, thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye. Give, and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down. When you give, you give to the Lord. Because give, and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together, right? Running over, give, and it will come back to you. Because when you give, when you give, because give, and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down. Good morning everyone, my name is Teacher Pam. I wish to, to give out a shout out to the preteens class and to tell them we really miss you and we can't wait to see you in class soon so that we can share our ideas and the word of God. Alvin, Amani Mungai, Amani Mwangi, Angela Wangeshi, Aidan Ogada, Brad Tito, Bryson Joroge, Kasten, Kasten Gary, Charles Mugane, uh, Dylan, Efana Mweke, Emma Wamboi, Emmanuel Dani, Enrique Munai, happy birthday in advance to you, Enrique Munai, um, Esi Zawadi, Ethan Hay, Ethan Mutahi, Profincia A, Godly Mumo, oh, Godly Mumo, you never miss to carry your Bible, I thank you for that. Uh, Gashon, happy belated birthday to you, Gashon. Gladys Wangoi, Grant K, Hope, um, Imani Mwangi, Ivan Matara, Jack Kigamba, Japheth, Jason Hesmond, Jazil Jacob, Jessil Pendo, Jewel Pendo, Justin, Justi, Jun Mumo, happy birthday in advance to you, Jun Mumo, Kesha Wamboi, Chloe Njeri, Kibet Kiprotich, happy birthday in advance, Kibet Kiprotich, Kimani, Kimbali K, Kipiegon Kiprotich, Kyle Jabba, Lem Lem, Lisa Makena Kuria, Mark Ruto, Mary Rose Ikumi, Megan Kerigo, Michael Chege, Michelle Mwende, 
Michelle Grace and Nadia Gitau. All of you, I wish you a happy belated birthday. Hope you had a good one. Um, Nishkara, Nbato, Nia Maritim, Nicole Serem, Neil Crisson, Oprah, Paolo Marquesa, Pendo Wanjiko, Piaz Batuka, Rashad Mboya, Ray, Ray Sakin, Renee, Rian Saga, Sam, Samara, Samara W, Samuel Bryan, Shalom Muhoro, Sharon Mwangi, Charlene Wamboi, Sylvester Mageni, Simisola. Simisola, you never miss your Bible, and I thank you for that. Um, Talisa Kero, Trevor Thompson, Tunina, Vanessa Chantel, Wangwe Makena, William, Erika, Kalesi. Kalesi, happy birthday, happy belated birthday. Your birthday was this past uh, week. I hope you had a good one. Um, Benjamin, Alan, Alex Bogo, Alvin Gaira, Anand Kimeli, Austin Ahwenda, Braden Gweth, Bryson Joroge, Colin Kuto, Daryl Joroge, Esi Zawadi, Ethan, Ethan Kiprop, Gabriel Kayo, Gatai Mwaura, Hadaya, Odigo, Ivan Matara, Jasmine Masaeza, Jason Hamoud, Jewel Pendo, Joshi, um, Joy Mumo, Joyce Obara, happy birthday in advance to you, Joyce Obara, Keith Eden, Koki Wamboa, Liz Lisa, Lisa Awino, happy birthday in advance to you, Lisa Awino, Malaki Odio, Mary Rose Ikumi, Megan Kerigo, Masi Mikali, uh, Pelamu Petal, Richard Mbogwa. I hope you had an awesome birthday. Happy belated birthday to you, Richard Mbogwa. Samara, John Murethi, Charlene Wamboy, Tasha, Trevor Thompson, Joseph Moge, Nate Karau. Happy belated birthday to you, Nate. And all the other June babies, we wish you all happy uh, birthday. Hope you had a good one. And those whose birthdays are yet to come, we wish you a happy birthday in advance. Can we now bow down for a word of prayer? Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for this way you brought us, O oh God. We just pray that we may keep on protecting us even during this COVID uh, pandemic, O oh dear Lord God. We pray that you may guide us, help us to serve one another, help us to share with the less fortunate, and most of all, help us to be assertive in all the things that we do. Protect our children from the, any online scams and anything that is not right for them to see when they are online, oh dear Lord God, and in everything we give glory and honor to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs> Have a very blessed week. Goodbye. Goodbye. How are you? I am so, so, so excited to come to you today. Yani, you have no idea how every week when we are coming to you, we're just so excited to do this. We're excited to do church with you. And I know we are doing this online with you being at home. I hope you're enjoying being at home. God bless you. We miss you. We really, really miss you. I know you've seen it in the media, like everywhere. Uh, guys are telling you, wash your hands. They're telling you, wear your mask. They're telling you, sanitize. And you should listen to them, you know. They're also telling you to keep a distance from other people. You need to do that. It's very, very important. Now, today I want to add two more things that you need to do. Number one, uh, we need to continue praying. We need to continue praying. Please let us talk to God. If there's something that is disturbing you, if there's something that is giving you like a little bit of anxiety here and there, let's talk to God and read your Bible. Imagine all that God wants to tell you is inside this book. So read your Bible. It's very important. And now number two, this one is very, very important. Do this with me. Put one hand up like this, take it to the side, bring it close, and then put it right here. I'm sure you have sanitized your hands so your hands are clean right now. Okay, so do it with me again. Put it right here, bring it right here, right here. Now, I want you to do something with me. I want you to instruct your eye. I want you to tell your eye, dear little eye, dear little eye, 
be careful what you see okay be careful what you see and i know right now that all of us because we are doing uh, class on zoom and google uh, google class and some of us are also spending time on social media tiktok whatsapp you know uh, youtube i know some of us are doing a lot of um, lessons and, and stuff online and i know we are spending so much time on on the internet please 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 be careful what your little eyes see be careful what your little eyes see because i know there's a lot of stuff out there i know everybody is for you there are some people who just want to send stuff so that they can mess around with your head they can mess around with your heart they can mess around with your entire body please 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 do this with me again again right here say dear little eye be careful what you see say it with me dear little eye be careful what you see and you know the bible says that if your little eye is the one that is going to cause you to sin and sinning is doing bad things before god take it out and then we'll be like this you will not have that eye anymore okay yeah no i want to see all of you when you come back with your two eyes so please little eye be careful what you see okay i love you so much remember let us wash our hands let us sanitize let us wear our mask keep your distance pray read god's word and little eye be careful what you see Okay, bye! Good morning! Welcome to Arc Church. Happy New Month! My name is Jason and I am excited to be host you today. I am excited to be host with my friend Mishoy from the Discipleship Class. Hi Mishoy, how are you doing? I am fine Jason. It's a new month, May 2020. And how are you doing? I am doing fine, actually. Good morning, Ark. It is a great honor to host to be hosting you today. You are at home. Happy New Month. How was your week? Who had a good week? We would love to hear from you. Please leave a note on the com on the comment section down below. We cannot wait to hear from you. Who had a bad week? Who is not feeling well? Today, I welcome us to pray for our country, Kenya. Let us pray for our president and the cabinet ministers, especially CS Mutai Kagwe and his office. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you that you have given us yet another week. We thank you that we are alive. You are God, Lord. Today, we, thank, we want to pray for those among us who, who had a tough week. We know that trying to, fi to figure out out this season is not as easy, but we put our trust in you. You are our Lord. Today we bring to you our country. We pray for our president, Uhuru Kenyatta. God, we pray that you may give him wisdom and blessing even as he leads our country. We pray for the MPs and the other officials who make decisions for us as a country. Today we bring all these things to you by faith because we will hear us in his name. Amen. So, who is new? I cannot see your hand, but you can leave a note on the comment section down below. Welcome to the ARC. We would love to welcome you properly. So leave your name down below or send us a text on 7 9642 Karibu Sana here at the ARC Gate DC. The rest of the ark, what do you say to our visitors? Welcome to the ark church. Jason, what if you are a king or a president for one day? What would you do? I will lead my country well and teach them to do the right things. Mishoy, what about you? What would you do? Well, Jason, if I was king or president, I would, if it was in this period of COVID-19, I would, I would put the country on lockdown and uh, give food to families that need it. Second, I would contribute money to countries that need it the most. What about you guys at home? What would you do? Welcome to church.